the Cottonwood County Citizen proudly presents Athlete of the Week. Brought to you this week by Wyndham Farm Service. If you are experiencing a farm machinery breakdown, our team of experienced technicians will get you back rolling. For all your farm equipment and small motor repairs, plus a full line of Arctic Cat equipment, call us today. Wyndham Farm Service, just off Highway 71 south of Wyndham. I'm joined right now by Wyndham Senior Becca Hawker, our Athlete of the Week this week. Congratulations, Becca. Thank you. Let's go back to that, that Tracy Milroy match. And it's been a long time since Wyndham has beaten TMB. It's been even longer since we've gone up there and beaten them. Um, what was working for you guys on uh, last Tuesday? We just worked really well as a team that day, I thought. I thought we were passing the ball well, setting the ball well, and keeping the ball in control as hitters. Um, we were all just doing our jobs. The, the thing that I was impressed by was how well you guys attacked with the serve and kind of kept them on their heels a little bit. We've been doing a lot of work in practice on our serves. Tell me about what the dynamic is like in practice with a new head coach this year. Obviously, Coach Wendorf is gone. Um, coach Fast has stepped in. She's no stranger to the program, but it's got to be a little bit different without Coach Wendorf there. Honestly, it's not that different. I feel like it's probably not that different because Crystal was coached by him when she was in high school, too. There are a couple differences, but it's not too drastic. Tell me about this season, um, just the em the emergence of you know the hitters on on the team because you look at girls like Caitlin and Autumn in particular who were first year varsity players last year, and you know I think that the they emerged as the season went on, but early on they were a little bit up and down. Um, you've got a lot of girls in a lot of different roles this year. Um, how has that been? How, how have you guys made that adjustment? Well, we do have a really strong offense this year. I feel like there's a lot of um, dynamic there. We have a lot of girls who can swing different hits, and we have a lot of height in the front row that helps with hitting and blocking. The energy that you guys have played with to start the season has been very impressive. And I don't know who the spark plug is, but every every time there's a big hit, there's a lot of emotion on the floor, and, and that's been fun to watch. I think that's because we all get along really well. Like, um, I don't know, we're all friends. We work well together, and it just works towards us. It benefits us. Last night you guys played Red Rock Central, and... and uh, Red Rock Central's not a bad squad. They they've got a lot of talent. Uh, they're they're you know got a couple of really nice young hitters. Um, early on, you guys uh, kind of fired away at them with the serve, but uh, eventually they kind of started to catch on, and uh, you guys had to adjust. Mm -hmm. um, what was talked about in the huddle during some timeouts, and and uh, how did you guys battle back in that third set? Well, we really had to pick up on their weak spots. Um, our coaches watch very carefully um, to see where like gaps in their defense might be. They really pick up on that and they tell us, like if we're hitting into the block, they tell us where we need to tip, usually the three spot in the middle of the court or the four spot, and um, whether we should hit down the line or hit cross court. Um, you just have to take in consideration what the coaches say and really listen to them because they know what they're doing. For you, it's it's always been a, a case where you've really had the opportunity to see a lot of different aspects of the floor because when you play in the back row, you're a setter. When you're in the front row, you're you're hitting, and they've had you hit out of basically all three of the spots and during your career. Um, what's that been like for you? Just you know, kind of becoming a a more well-rounded player, I imagine. Yeah, I think it's helped me a lot. It helps me understand as a setter, like, hitters may struggle sometimes, so I can't get mad when I'm setting. 
and also as a hitter, I can't get mad at my setter for not always having perfect sets. So I understand, mm -hmm. and I feel like that helps me a lot. Looking ahead, you've got an interesting matchup on Monday night. Um, you've got older sister on the opposite bench. Mm -hmm. um, what's that like? It's really fun, actually. I love playing against her and giving her a little grief because we usually do beat them, but you never know. It's fun looking at her during the plays. She knows most of the time what I'm going to do, honestly. We have that little sister connection, I think. <laughs> but, yeah, it's really fun. I enjoy it, and I look forward to it every year. And, of course, uh, you've got Marshall coming up on the horizon, and, and uh, you know, that's always a big test. Uh, you've got a big test coming up this weekend over in Mankato. Uh, you could run into the two-time state champs. Uh, Mayor Lutheran is still pretty solid. Uh be a fun opportunity for you guys, though, I imagine. My most memorable sports moment is definitely last year when we played Jackson and I got the game-winning block. Um, lots of country. I would say Marshall. We tend to struggle against them because we know they're a big threat. But when we come out and play together well as a team, we do have a very good chance at beating them. I think they would describe me as outgoing. I like to talk a lot. I like to babysit, and I like to bake, and I like to spend time with my family and watch movies. And of course, you're a senior now. Uh, what's what's on the horizon for you? What are some of your future plans? I think. As of now, I want to go into elementary education, and I am thinking about attending SMSU. All right. That should be all we need. Thanks for joining us, and congratulations. Thank you. Brought to you this week by Wyndham Farm Service. If you are experiencing a farm machinery breakdown, our team of experienced technicians will get you back rolling. For all your farm equipment and small motor repairs, plus a full line of Arctic Cat equipment. Call us today. Wyndham Farm Service, just off Highway 71 south of Wyndham.